Did you know it's Friday? Yes, been counting them down. I have been ready. It's been one of them weeks this week. If it's not one thing, it's another. It's what's normally popped up. It has been bad, bad, bad this week. It's been an adventure, that's yep. all I can say. So. That's true. Well, y'all got this thing full. Well, we're trying. We get it looking nice and then, you know, people like to look around so it's... Well. It gets all mixed up, but that's okay. Man, every shelf's packed. Nice. Well, it's, it's good, good to see it full like that. It feels good to have it full. <laughs> it's a lot easier to sell it when you got it, ain't it? It is. Yeah. Well, well what new stuff you got this week? Anything well, good? Okay. Yeah, we got something. It just come in. I probably said, yep, it's right there. Right here in front of me. Oh, good. So, we just got those in. They're pro part of the new product pipeline. Five piece reducing adapter set. You know, you always need. It's good to have. Exactly. So, it's got a half to three quarter, well, a three quarter to a half. Yeah. And then a half to three eighths, a three eighths to a half, quarter and three eighths, and a quarter and three eighths. I mean, it's pretty much got mm -hmm. what you'll need. Yeah. So, Those it comes in handy, I would think, anyways, because I know we have people come on here and they're, you know, they Well, want, I never got to buy them in a set. I always had to buy each one individual. And then it don't have a case to put them in. Right. And this comes in a little hard plastic case. Yeah, that's nice. So. And to another thing, like, you're like, okay, I need to get a three quarter or a three eighths or a quarter. And then next thing you know, you'll need it to be the other way around, mm -hmm. you know, from a quarter inch ratchet to three eighths. Well, dry, that's so. funny you say that because whenever I order something for somebody like that, Michael, he'll be shaking his head because he, he just picks it up fast. I'm not. I'm like, okay, so you want this socket, this size, this drive, right? And they're yep. like, okay. I said, well, when it comes in, it's yours because you're telling me it's right. <laughs> and because, you know, it gets confusing sometimes. Yeah. So this one is a three eighths male, three eighths to a half. He didn't need that. He needed a half to a three-eighths. I was like, well. So I ordered the opposite. And I was like, well, I asked you multiple times. So I held on to this one because it was all me. Yep. But That's the way it works, you know. Yeah. And so I mean, when somebody tells you that, do they need to tell you the ratchet size first or the socket in first? It just depends because on here, my Or is it better is to say, I first. need a three-eighths ratchet to go to a half-inch socket? I mean, oh, yeah. one or the other, I mean, I just, like I tell them, I said, what do you need it to go to? I said, I need your starting point and your ending point. And they're like, well, I have this little bitty ratchet and then I have this big ratchet. And I'm like, I know the difference between a quarter or three eighths and a half and a uh, three quarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know the difference, but sometimes they don't know the difference. <laughs> They're, they know, okay, well, this is the medium size ratchet, yeah. and then this is the big one, and this is the little one. I said, well, just point to me which one is yours, and yeah, they get it. Well, it's funny to kind of see the difference in the way people describe stuff, too, you know. Yes. Like, um, we, I just had this conversation last week. I think we was on Joe's truck. We showed drill bits, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this guy says, I work as a machinist. And they don't call it drill bits, they call it a drill. I said, well, I can tell you, Hoss, in the mechanic world, if you say, I need to borrow your drill, They're going to somebody's going to hand you one of these. One of they sure as crap ain't going to hand you some drill bits, no. you know. So I guess you have to read the room and kind of figure out where it's Get at. in where you fit in. Exactly. <laughs> so. Well, that's like the whole um, wobble sockets, a universal socket, mm -hmm. in that whenever I first got on the truck, I had no mechanic knowledge at all. So all I had was Michael and I got tired, you know, and I'm sure he got annoyed with me asking him multiple times. So I grabbed the book and I said, what is it in here? 
Yeah. It's called a universal socket in there. It's not called a wobble socket. Mm -hmm. That's like a wobble extension. I think that's just like the redneck version of it. Because well, I mean, like where we live, if you say, oh, it's universal fit, that means it fits everything, right? Yeah. But up north that may not be that you know that's like down here it's funny too because everybody's like like i listen to i love to roll my window down when we're going through the drive through somewhere because every soft drink in the south is a coke it don't matter what it is yeah. right yeah i need a large coke make it a dr pepper <laughs> you know? and up oh, north yeah. it's a pop or a soda yes. or something like that you know so I guess it's just like I say, where are you where are you from, you know? But yeah. I think it's fun, which I don't call it really a pop or a soda, you know. Yeah. If it's a Mountain Dew, I call it Mountain Dew. If it's Dr Pepper, I call it Dr Pepper. But yeah. a lot of people, if it comes in a can or a bottle and it's got bubbles, everything's a Coke, no matter what. So. I guess that's just because the first thing that really people took off with was Coke, but. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of soda and pop, our little boy, he watches YouTube. He loves like Bluey and stuff like that. And that's yeah. what they call it. They call it a soda. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we had to get used to him saying that. And when he starts speaking in Australians, when it's going to be funny. You know, I would like his little country Australian voice. I mean, that would be <laughs> kind of unique. Well, talking about Bluey is funny, which, you know, Caroline loves Bluey. So that's yeah. where we got introduced to Bluey because Bluey wasn't around when our kids was growing up, you know. Bluey's like the new age cartoon. So, our dogs love Bluey. So every day we get up, my wife fixes some breakfast, but she turns the TV on, Bluey. And our little male dog, he just loses his mind when he hears that intro song to Bluey. He yeah. loves to watch. He, oh, yeah. he will sit and watch the television and watch Bluey. So it keeps him out of trouble all day. Hey, ain't nothing wrong so, with that. I mean, because I can get into some Bluey's trouble. not only good for kids, you know. So. I mean, it's and it's got some good points of view. So. Yep. Well, did my my Bluetooth speaker come in, or are they? Oh, they still you out? got a bump box speaker, right? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. I don't have it on the truck, but I got a shipment coming in today. I was, okay. you know, I was cool. telling you about. We'll get it know. next week. No biggie. Look, if they would deliver every day. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. You don't have to talk to your uh, talk to your UPS guy. Look, we had an awesome UPS guy. He would uh, pick our stuff up. He, you know, I mean, Christmas time during Expo time, they would mm -hmm. pile our stuff up, you know, nice. But uh, he got in trouble for picking our stuff up. That you know, like our warranty. Instead of scheduling a pickup, we would just we would leave it there, and I'd leave him a note and say, "Hey, we pick this up. Here's your pair of socks." You know, yeah, <laughs> just for picking it up. He got in trouble, so now we have to pay umpteen amount wow. to get a schedule pickup. And then if we don't have anybody else on our street that's getting delivered, even if we have five to ten packages, they're still not going to deliver until they have somebody on our street. They will hold our packages. That's and crazy. Our distri distribution center is closed, so yeah. we cannot go over there and pick it up no more. So. Yeah. Oh, are they not open at like. Nope. Early in the morning and mm -hmm. evening. The they cancel. They they were open two hours a day, nine to ten and five to six. Yeah. No, they closed them. They closed over two hundred of them, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that sucks. Yes, it does. So that's why most of our stuff, you know, it don't come in like when it's supposed to. Right. It's there. But we just can't go pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Is your little boy not stole that dart gun yet? He's tried. That's why it's on that top shelf. I'd have to have, if my parents owned a Matco truck, I'd have to have that for have, sure. Have y'all opened, has Michael opened that yet and showed uh -uh. y'all inside? Well, no. Let me do that. A lot it's of people. It's pretty cool. I remember the water gun y'all had. I almost bought one. Well, this is pretty neat. I was trying to be a big boy and be responsible. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to, you know, have little toys. So a lot of people don't realize that it comes with two. Oh, it's a, a dual and, empire, so y'all don't have a face off. But the awesome thing is, so you have this one, mm -hmm. right? Now this is our real one. It's heavier. They are the exact, pretty much the exact same. Oh, well, that's cool. So, Dirty Santa gift, I can give you a box, you can put them a dart gun in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty neat right there. It is. So, but, I so mean, is it, what is it, just how does it shoot one at a time or yeah you just load okay, it yeah i didn't know if it had like a magazine like the nerf 
gun that's got where it shoots like 20 at a time. You yeah. Know. Well, Michael, he went right before it was Christmas Eve when Walmart was still open. Yeah. And he went up there to get something. Well, they had their little Orby guns mm -hmm. on sale. Well, he got our three year old Orby gun. Yeah. That thing shoots like a machine gun. And he shoots the side of this truck. And it just, like, I mean, you would think there's dents in the side of the truck. It hit so hard. So that is neat right yeah. there. Oh, that but, is really cool. Now, these, I believe, are still in stock. You get orange or green. They haven't come out with blue yet. Oh, that so, is cool right there. But, There's your part number if you guys want to order one. But, like I said, really good dirty Santa gift. Yeah, that's cool right there. But it just kind of understands. Yeah, if you left that on here, there'd be darts everywhere, yes. guys shooting that thing. I think we actually had a distributor that did a competition. They stuck, see, it has the target, but you can buy a big target. Yeah. He stuck it on the back of his truck, and I think he put, like, glue dots or something on it, and if you shot it, you got certain percentages off or got something free or something like that. Well, it's pretty cool. neat. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll get my, my speaker next week. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even want it for the shop. You know what I want it for? To put know. on the golf cart. It's magnetized, yeah. Just stick it I on think there. it'll fit on that little rail up there by the windshield. Mm -hmm. nice. And they're loud too. Yeah. I got one sticking in my refrigerator. <laughs> I have awesome. one of the big ones and one of the, the bump boxes like that or the sandbox. Well, I wanted the big one, but dad, God, them things are ridiculous high. Are, but you we, buy a Bose, Bose radio for that. Yeah, but they're they're good. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I mean, they're they're pricey, but we had somebody got on here and their little boy plays travel ball, mm -hmm. and she uses the microphone to introduce all oh, of the yeah. kids because you can play the music in the background. Oh yeah, because you got to have the walk up songs oh, now. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's like the pros now. Exactly. So. Our little girl, she's in coach pitch, and yeah. she would love that. That's what you need to do. Just carry your bump box and have a walk-up song for her. Oh, yeah. It'd probably be Baby Shark or something like there that. There you go. So. Whatever makes her happy, right? <laughs> That's what it's for. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get back at it. Thanks for hanging out with us on this Friday. It's finally Friday, so you can enjoy your weekend. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down there in the description. We added some new links. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.